Step three on the subtraction pathway starts with a collection of 10. So let's get 10 out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten on the tens frame. So we have 10 on the tens frame, and that's why I've put this counter here on the 10. Now it says take away, which is subtract, the light purple spinner, which is this one down here. So I'll give it a spin. Let's see where we end up, hey? Oh, what do you know? It's landed on 7. So we know that I'll be taking 7 of these away. So do it, Mr. Helen. 1, 2, I've taken away 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Well, I took away 7. How many are remaining? How many left over? Well, let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now that looks like it matches. There's 3 here and 3 here. What strategy might I have used to help me figure this out? We know that 10, a collection of 10, can be made of a part which is 7 and a part which is 3. These are 10's facts. 7 and 3 make 10. I'll just do that here for you for a minute. Yeah, let's see that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now, if I grab three of them, you can see that if I take away three, I'm left with the group, which is seven, which is the rest of this here. And I'll move those here. And we remember that seven plus three, or seven and three, makes ten. So ten take away the three makes, or leaves us with the remainder of seven. So seven left over. It's about part, part, whole knowledge. That might help you figure out how to do this subtraction a little quicker using your tens facts. Remember, write down your workings out. Talk about what you're doing and always use materials. Always.